Orlando. Go out. Go out. Let's leave our village for us. Leave our central land for us. This is a priest. They are begging you in the name of God. But if you try to leave our land, we will fight you to the death. Yes. Leave our land. 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 Leave our Leave our land. 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 Leave Wait, 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 I can arrange myself. <laughs> and Sentinel is in the court. So many courts. They should obey the court order. And Sentinel leave our land for us. see here are not sold to anybody by the community but members of the community who are willing and eligible and has the money to build a residential house is given a location to do that an MOU has been uh, prepared between whoever is an indigenous and the community uh, that will be given a portion of land to build house on here is a, 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 a property given to my son by the community for the purpose of a hospital that will serve everybody. Look at what they have done. He decided to put up this residential building in where they will stay and continue. You can see the remaining part of the property where the hospital project will, will eventually take place. All the documents pertaining to this thing is already at the time planning. Undergoing the normal processes. So I don't see the reason why they should come and demolish this thing. For no just cause. And the worst part of it is that this thing that they did was on a Saturday, not even a working day. 
This matter can simply be resolved by the governor knowing the truth. They are furnishing him with lies and they are trying to compromise his position on the good intents he has for Obago Konano. What we are trying to say in overall is um, this property, I know, if government, government wants to acquire property, it's for overriding interest. How can they acquire a property, no normal negotiation, no MOU, and they are doing it on a private basis? I know the community is now in a capital territory. Is it going to be gained to us or loss? Is it because we are here now, they want to take our property? So what we are praying is that Governor should listen to the community. He should give us listening ear and know the truth. Because these stories are one-sided. The, the centenary, the capital territory, and Chamberlain, they are feeding him with lies. And the governor, whom we know, this is what we, I see it as, it's a, it's a hazard to us. Youth are not happy. We don't have any future again. Nowhere to farm, nowhere to go. Nowhere to build house. Nowhere to build house. But when you build the house, then we just demolish it. You can even old women cannot enter inside bush and, and fetch a firewood. It will not happen. Please, we are here begging. We are begging. Don't just put it in begging. We are begging. Please, they should leave our property for us. Our grandfather, father that keep for us. This for since 2009. When Sullivan was in power, they came to our land through A, widowed every place, including where people are habited, like Obinagi, Obinagi here. Added it to additional, that's we had a, during the time of Jim Wobodo, we had, we gave them, Jim asked for land, Obago and Amech. We contributed and gave. 318 hectares. We were then planning to conclude a uh, memorandum of understanding because they promised us many things. The good is that we come for our domain our land. Before we enter into that uh, memorandum, June was opted. Ono came in. Ono, no, Ono came in. Ono did not stay long. The, uh, the military governors came. They abandoned that place. Though that Ashutek was still working, but on temporary listing. Here is supposed to be their permanent site. Until the time of uh, Chimaroki, when Chimaroki came back, came in power. He came here and saw maybe he's not satisfied with the, the size or something. He carried it down to their own side, Abani. Evacuated the death. Then our land became free for us. We started cultivating, doing something. We came back to our normal business here. Lo and behold, when Sullivan Chime came in, immediately Sullivan Chime came in, they flew up, started videoing everywhere. We were asking what is happening, what is happening. Next time we saw those <coughs> private uh, state international, they said they were sent by the governor, by, by the government. Say what? They, they, that they, they... In order to show you how committed this com uh, community is in terms of. Uh, uh, supporting the government to actualize uh, his uh, dreams in terms of development. The community is already making arrangement to give the state government about 400 hectares of land. Because of his, uh, the, his uh, project of uh, uh, new Enugu, new Enugu project, and this will show you how dear this new government is to us. Uh, for us to have this kind of uh, uh, thing in mind, I don't know why the government shouldn't come to our aid. We are not anti-government. Even the other subsequent past governments, we are not anti-government. 
we have always done our best to support the government. So that's our story. Enugu State should come to our aid. We keep repeating it before it is too late. Because our youths are no longer happy. Our women are not happy. Some of the houses they marked that should be removed are houses people have done their best to make sure that they uh, put in place so that they can have a place to, st to live as human beings. Have, the question is, this private estate is a private individual business. We have nothing to do with them. No compensation was paid to our people. No uh, memorandum of understanding was drawn between us and them. How come that these people have decided to come and keep intimidating us with our money, the money they sold from our land? 